Welcome into episode five of Turf Moor Tiki Taka. We beat Everton a 2 0. I'm about to show you one of the most beautiful goals I have ever seen in Football Manager. Before we get to that, I do have a question for you. I've tried to up my editing game this year. If you are on episode five, you're still with me. So I would love your feedback in the comments about the edits, the zoom ins on like player attributes and stuff like that. I'm trying to be more mobile uh, friendly with people who watch on their phones and stuff like that. So I'm curious what your thoughts are with some of the editing and the changes and all that kind of stuff. Leave those and let's go see this goal. It was so good. It was, oh, it was chef's kiss. It was literally Kermit the Frog with the, with the tea bag thing, like the... Mm, pinky in the air and all that good stuff. Let's roll it. You know what's hilarious? That black screen I just showed you when I hit play on the highlight, it, it gave me all the crowd sounds and the commentary at the bottom, but it was blank. So I had to, I had to go back out and Come back into the game. Apparently that's a bug. We found yet another bug. Watch this. McNeil, Alonso, Cork, Wilshire. McNeil plays it forward. Oh, that's... The build-up was good, though. Let me see if I can find the build-up. I'm trying to find the build-up to this this goal, and I can't get rid of this screen. Oh, viewer, it was so good. They passed it around. I wonder if I changed the view. Vertical. I can't, I can't show you. It, I mean, it was the most Tiki Taka goal you've ever seen. Play it out of the back. Bop, 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 all the way down. And then I think if I click on this, it'll actually show you. Here we go. This is not all of it, though. It looks okay, right? Like, played it in, finished it. It was good. That doesn't tell the whole story, in my opinion. That is really disappointing that I couldn't get that screen to go away. Oh. In stark contrast to that goal... Let me give you this one. Watch how many shots it takes to get this to go in. And one, two, three. Chris Wood. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. It, it wasn't very hilarious. Um, we, we were having a problem where, we, you know, some of you have noted in the comments, we have old or and or slow defenders, and they kept... Um, that wasn't as much a ball over the top, but they kept playing playing balls over the top and scoring, or at least creating chances. And so we, we definitely, towards the end of the game, dropped the line to a balanced to draw them out, and this helped us score as well. McNeil, I mean, I don't know how much credit Chris Wood gets for his hat trick. That, that looked definitely more like an own goal to me than, like, an amazing goal, and the other one was the fourth attempt. Um, and here's Alonzo. I mean, all right, he actually put his head into it. He, he made an effort, and so we came back to win the game 3-2. But with, with that being said, people, we are currently sixth, and we take on first place Manchester United with a plus 16 goal differential. They've only allowed five goals in, and they've scored a 21. We've also unexpectedly, I think, improved our back line yet again. We already signed a right back, but he's a squad player, and he's good with that. And then Jonas Svensson came available, 27 years old. Azed, we paid $3.4 million for him. It was worth 10.5. I think that's good business right off the top. We're paying him a little bit more than the previous guy we had. Ooh, there's the garage door. If you're new right here, every so often my garage door opens kind of below me, and and there's a fan club. Um, so join it. Um, but he's 27, so he's not physically going to fall apart, which is one of the things I was looking for. He's got really good mentals, professional personality, will be great for mentoring. And it was helpful that Matt Lawton, who, again, I don't dislike. He played well for us, right? Like, he gave us a 703 in four games, so I can't really complain. But he's 31. And Wolves were interested. He was tagged as wanted. Um, now, his value is at $4.4 million, And when I offered him out, they were like $4.4 million, non-negotiable, and he wanted to go. I don't know. I, I, you might think that's a mistake, but I think, you know, we're paying a little bit more in wages than we were. 
but we we essentially netted about a million in the transfer and we reduced our player's age in that position by four years, which is something I kind of think is important. Um, and I think overall, like if you do the comparison, right? So, Lawton's, okay, apparently this is broken. Lots of zeros and blanks for everybody, which is kind of interesting. Um, you know, Lawton looks better, but he also only plays on the right side. So what I also like about Jonas besides his age and him not falling apart fast is he's more versatile. I can, I can plug him in if we need to. And I think on this squad, especially in this year, we need that. Technical is a little bit better. Obviously, Loughton's mentals in some areas are better. The aggression and bravery goes to Svensson. Um, and determination is really close. And 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 you could argue, I guess, that Loughton's physicals are better. But, I you know, I just have a thing. With older players, they tend to, like, go down and go down quickly. And Loughton only, I think, I think only had the contract through the end of this year. So it's like, well, if you're going to extend him, I just thought it was time to like, if we're cashing in, it's time to cash in rather than letting him walk on a free. Uh, we've also loaned out my friends, um, Jimmy to Wigan. Now they're doing some sort of a weird thing. And they're, pay you know, they're, they're paying half his wages, but also giving us, you know, a half a week's wages every month. It was about as much as we could get out of them, and they've got uh, good training facilities. There, there are three clubs that are interested. They've got the best, and he's already doing well there, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, now, I thought we offered him a contract, and apparently we have not, and so we'll have to get that sorted before the end of the year. or before, Yeah, before the end of the calendar year. And then we loaned out a youth prospect for a, a very small loan fee, but we've also loaned up Matej Vidra, who... I wanted to sell and seven and a half million was a lot to ask in the current economic climate. The most that we got an offer for was like three. And I thought mm, for a guy we paid 12.5 for, he is usable, but I didn't think that was a good move. And he's got, you know, 18 or 20 months, whatever on his contract left. And so they kind of did us a weird deal. So they are paying 10% of his wages, but they must have had transfer budget because they're paying us a monthly fee that essentially the math works out to about paying his wages. So not, you know, to be fair, not ideal. But my thinking here is anything that we could do to reduce our wage budget or increase our transfer budget, essentially improve the bank balance. You've got an asset here with a guy that you're not really planning on using. And I guess you could argue you could sell him for 3.2, then you do that. But we've loaned him essentially for 1.1 now that that looks like profit but it's essentially for his value um which like you know what is 38 and a half grand you know over over a year and typically i guess how that works out in foot manager is it breaks it down to 10 months um on a four-week month that's approximately 1.5 uh, million that it would cost us so we're reducing our cost by you know uh, 1.1 million. So it's only going to cost us 400 grand to have him. And then maybe we could try to sell him. Now his value may go down, right? So I'm not sure, but I thought anything we could do right now to reduce our wage and or increase our transfer budget because of the, the way the deals are structured, we should do it. If somebody would have come in and bought him. We would have, would have sold, but you know, not, not happening. So we got one unhappy player at the club. Um, who is that? We don't have any unhappy players. We have two content players. This is Clinton Mola down here, the the loanee, um, whose manager did come talk to us and said, "Hey, I told you, you said you're gonna have him as a regular starter, and he's not." And I'm like, "Fair play, we'll use him." Uh, maybe it's Eric Peters because of the the dynamics issue. So that's kind of interesting. But we're, I mean, you'd think they'd be happy. We're in sixth place. Curl. I know I said <laughs> uh, that the table doesn't matter until ten games have been played, but you know it could be worse. I think today it's gonna be worse. If we have enough time, this might just be a Man United episode, and then we'll hop forward. Um, we've also pulled uh, Plymouth in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal, so that was about as good of a draw as we could have gotten at that stage. I'll show you the the, the total draw. Right, you got Leeds, Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea, and the Manchester clubs. So we have lucked out here, which is good because, especially again, when you look at trying to keep the board happy, this is my strategy. Let's do some good stuff here and hopefully they get over some of this stuff. Now, 
this stuff is required. So verse, you know, I also think that's, you know, whoo, hello, earbud went flying. I think that's wise, right? You go after the required stuff. And if you miss on the preferred stuff, but you hit the required stuff, they're going to be good. That's the plan, at least, my friends. So this is how we line up. I'll go to the tactics screen. Svensson, Targoski, Vavro, Alonso, Cork, Westwood, Jack Wilshire, McNeil, Wood, Rodriguez, Jack, make me laugh because um, the comment ranges on the number of minutes you all think he is going to play this year is kind of depressing, to be honest with you. We're not to the game yet. I'll talk about that here in a second. And I also want to show you these players. Lewis Richardson looks to be quite good. As does Josh Benson that we called up in the in the friendlies before the season. But going back to Jack Wilshire, the comment ranges was like 200 to 400 up to 2,000, which would be about 22 games total. Was it worth the risk, you think? I mean, it probably depends on, like, if he goes, let's say we split the difference, and he goes, you know, 1,100 minutes. Was that worth getting him on a free and then paying his wages? Or does it depend on how long he's out and if we can sell him in the future? What do you think? All right, my friends, give me a pity like because I think we're going to get wrecked. It said in the press conference they think they know how we're going to play. I, I I cleared out the 4-2-3-1 tactic and looked at Tiki Taka's other options, like a 5-2. It's like 5-2-2-1. Two, two, I was like, nah. I thought playing maybe three at the back would be wise. Um, so get a five, five of the back system. But I didn't want to mess around. It, you know, We probably should have prepared for this a little bit better, but <clears throat> here we go. It says we should be on the defensive. Right. Oh, dear. We're, we're, we're going to give it our best. We're going to play positive. We're at home. They should be afraid of us, he says with zero confidence. Um, so Taylor, Ben Me, Paolo, Brownhill, Goodmanson, and Barnes are on the bench. We, we will have to start Mullen next game because I think uh, it, it was it was interesting because the interaction with the manager coming to you to talk, one of the ones was like, yeah, you can go ahead and cancel the loan at your first convenience. Like, oh, oh, easy, easy. Um, they want to go hard on Paul Pogba. You know, it's an embarrassment of riches at Manchester United, don't you think? De Gea, Juan Basaka, Lindelof, Maguire, Tellez, Van de Beek, Pogba, Martial, Fernandez, Rashford, Cavani. I mean, I looked up before the game. Bruno is like three and seven, um, three goals, seven assists. Cavani's got like eight goals. Um, was it Rashford and Martial have like eight goals? It was crazy. It was just like, all right, here we go, here we go. Um. The media have given you a lot of credit lately. I don't know about that one. Um, let's show everyone else what we're capable of. No reaction. Goodness. Um, it should be entertaining for the supporters. Whose supporters? Whose, my friends? <laughs> what do you... Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh my goodness, here we go. There you go, heads it away. Chris Wood, deep in his half, collects it, gets it right back to him. Okay, okay. Okay. I mean... Oh, oh now the counter. No, 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 not the counter. I, I definitely thought, oh my... I think they know how we're going to play. Short passes to each other. Oh, never. Oh, goodness me. Are you not entertained, my friends? Welcome to the jungle. Eight and a half minutes in. We've not conceded. I think that's a victory. If you're a Burnley fan, hoofs it long. That's not part of the tactical setup, my friend. And they're going to bring it right back, and they're going to run right past our slow center backs. Oh, dearie me. Remember how it said, as it was like up there, it said, you know, um, we should push up even higher to make us make ourselves more compact and harder to break down. What what, what if that keeps happening? <clears throat> I mean, Cavani is kind of. I mean, it's just that's just ridiculous that they get to pick him up. Though. I mean, come on, boys. Um, all right, all right, all right. Let's not let's not let's not be disheartened. You know, it did say we should play defensive, but you know that's no fun, especially for your home fans. Oh, should have. I mean, I guess I guess who was it? Uh, was that? Lindelof or Maguire was well positioned there. 
All right, we're in, we got a good defensive position. Come on, boys. Nice. Did the same thing to him. McNeil. Oh, what was that? I'm really glad that highlight cut out. That did not look like it was going to go our way. They expect the goals are even, though. We just didn't finish ours. So it's not, we're not getting trounced, you know? Um, yet. I think they score four. He's on his bike. Oh, I mean, just <laughs> oh my goodness, miscommunication with the goalkeeper, but uh, let's encourage. Yes, they liked it. It also calms the crowd down, apparently, when, when you do that. I mean, we've had four shots and they've had three and both have had two on target. It's not, again, we're not, we're not getting embarrassed, I think. Although you could argue. <laughs> uh, hands on hips. You've been unlucky. Yeah, yeah, been me. Team leader. Nervous. Lovely. <laughs> oh, you're so deep. Oh my goodness. Playing out of the back. I feel like we're going to be on a Twitter Twitter highlight reel here, you know, when playing out of the back goes wrong, and then Basaka just, I mean, he just beats it with the ball. Oh, they're all laying us. It's the 48th minute. It's a little early to be a laying. Okay. That was nice. Okay. Okay. Now where to? Now now we look, we, we look almost like Manchester United in reality. We look, look a little lost. Like, oh, we're supposed to have a tactical plan. Oh, did did our left back leave him on? Oh, it's off the post. Oh, did he carry it out? No, apparently not. Oh, dear me. The XG is not going our way. Um, hmm. I think what we'll try. This is just, I'm just grasping at straws here. Let's, let's try. I tried this in one of the games, right? Where maybe that'll draw, right? You know, if you've got, they're attacking here. We're in better position to handle it. And then maybe there'll be a gap in midfield because of the DMs. Maybe. Um, but I am going to say counter as well, which I know is, you know, you have to be able to adjust, right? Um, to be able to catch them. If we're going to catch them off guard, we we can't just, you know, win possession of the ball and go like, oh, let's pass it around. Like, let's let's try and be a little more aggressive with our passing it around. Honestly, this might be a, a protect your goal difference type of game. <laughs> is this the attacking third for us? It is. Westwood swings it over. Rodriguez. Oh, what a save from De Gea. Oh... But that's better. That clearly is better. Alonzo swings it in. Away. Oh, tell us. Oh, he's he's going to leave our players in the dust, isn't he? That's not a trombone. Wait, that's, a, that's a trombone. And for those of you that aren't musically inclined, that sound does not come out of a trombone. <laughs> this has been Learning Music with Gray Hair Gaming. Thank you for tuning in. They've taken off Pogba and brought on some guy and uh, McTominay. Malinovsky. Malinovsky. I'm not familiar. Interesting. Do we really have any impact subs here? Maybe it'll, they'll, they'll disrupt the tacti their tactical setup with the changes. Uh, McNeil and Rodriguez look exhausted. Oh, everyone's, everyone's just dropped to being exhausted. I was thinking about Chris Wood, but Chris Wood does have a, I would call a dirty hat trick. You know, so I felt like we needed to kind of keep him in. Um, but anything you can do, I can do better, right? Like, let's, oh, and he's nervous. That's lovely. Let's freshen up the attack a little bit. We'll put McNeil on attack as well. We kind of have to. I guess we'll go attacking. I don't know. What would you have done if you were in my seat right now? Nervous. Great. <laughs> Probably going to get sent off, isn't he? What's the XG? Everyone talking about XG? Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, they deserve it, right? Uh, Svensson 
is tired, so that'll be our last sub. Is we'll bring Paolo on to give him a run out. I'm not even going to talk to him. Just freshen up the legs on the wing backs. Can we demand more? Nah, I don't. I I don't think it's worth it in this situation. They're clearly the better team. We're not really supposed to be in six, so I'm not super disappointed. I wasn't trying to park the bus for for us um, as a community and of viewers and all that kind of stuff. Um, I wanted to see how our, our style could work. And it's not been terrible. Again, they've, they've scored 21 goals this season in five games, right? So now they did score seven in one game. So what is that? 14 and four. That's still a ton of goals. So the fact that as of the time I'm speaking, this may end up in a goal for them. But we've not conceded like three goals. Just the one. Just the two, you know, is not terrible. We've went attacking anyway. So... I'm actually kind of heartened by this, if that weirdly makes sense. I'm, I, maybe I'm just being, I don't know, overly optimistic, but we knew they were a better team. Top of the table, you know, is what it is. And we, you know, we... Our XG was noticeably lower. Okay, I guess our line is the red line because we're the home. Okay, that's confusing because I just automatically assume Manchester United is red. Um, I'm not gonna. No, I'm. I'm. I'm starting to disagree with uh, with our assistant here. Um, unlucky boys. Nice and calm. We're we're above where we are expected to be in the table. <clears throat> uh, I don't want to comment on individuals, but people want to. You know, good for them. Uh, I'm paid to win football, so that they've, they've started noticing that, right? Like the 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 fans are assuming I'm supposed to be playing direct as well as part of the club philosophy, and we are not. So I'm starting to get questions about it in press conferences. But again, you know, okay, there's who can hop us right now in the table? Tottenham because they have two games in hand, um, and Aston Villa. So we're no worse than eighth as of right now. I. You know, in six games with Burnley fans take being an eighth, I think, I I personally think they would. All right, my friends, let me talk to you a little bit about what I plan to do with the series because I may have said in one of the episodes we're going to go as long as we can. We're going to go, or maybe it was in the chat of the premiere of the uh, first episode. Where, you know, we'll go like four or five seasons. So to do that, to do anything close to that, we got to get going. So now that we've gotten through transfer season, and we, you know, we got a bunch of Premier League games to play. I think I'm gonna end up being more like let's do unless it's like massive games. Let's do single game episodes, and I can do updates as to other things that are going on, and, and try and show you the highlights like I did earlier. Hopefully that gets fixed so that I can actually show you the goal. Um, but then we've got this this run in the Carabao Cup that I personally think is important. So that's probably the next time I'm gonna bring you back. I know that's a bunch of games to play, right? Three, four, eight games without you but what I want to do is try and get through this season right so in a couple more episodes or this is episode five so definitely by episode nine or ten unless we're making some crazy you know FA Cup run <clears throat> get through the season get to the next transfer window go through that and see what the next season looks like of course all this means I need to not get sacked in that period of time so we'll see how that plan goes my friends but again I think if you ask the Burnley fan, if you are a Burnley fan um, cause I know I've had some that commented early, early in the save. Would you take right now being no worse than eighth based on how these other results go with three wins, a draw and a loss. And, and I would also point out in particular because of how poor their goal scoring has been in reality, eight, four and one, uh, no eight against, sorry. I was like eight. Why well, that doesn't make any sense. Um, scoring nine goals and conceding eight. That's more than that. That's better in both directions than three and twelve, as it was. Uh, yeah, because it's the international break right now. So at, at the time of recording, Burnley scored three goals and conceded twelve. So not to rub salt in the wound. Sorry, Burnley fans. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, tell your friends. This is kind of the point in the save where if you can share this on social media and get other people watching it, it really does help me out as a creator. So if you're enjoying it and you want more people to enjoy it do those things and we will see you next time when we take on Plymouth. 
I know. It's the Carabao Cup quarterfinal, but... I might bring you back earlier if it looks like we're going to get sacked. So if the if the, if the the next episode, the title looks a little different, eh, we might be in trouble. But right now we're B-, minus, so they're happy. So, yay! <laughs>